yeah, look, I mean, we've done very well lately. We're, we're happy with uh, with where we stand. But, uh, you know, just looking around this track on the track walk, uh, or drive for me, I'm not walking that far. But uh, there were a lot of very long straights. And, uh, you know, for whatever reason, the FIA, they declined to put in chicanes halfway down and to slow everybody up, which is just outrageous. Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villain, and welcome back to Aussie Villain Racing. Today we have the Canadian Grand Prix, my in-law Grand Prix, my country in country of uh, in-laws Grand Prix. And, uh, well... <laughs> this is a problem. This is a big problem. We, we know we lack top speed. We know we're not great in DRS, uh, with DRS effectiveness. And Canada, well, it's kind of known for its long straights, isn't it? So, that could be an issue for us. Uh, so, we'll see. I think what it will be, actually, is a good test of, of how we perform on a track where it doesn't necessarily suit our car down to the ground. So, I'm curious to see from that point of view how we get on. Um, but, yeah, we will, uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, now, there's obviously nothing new on the car. We've, we've turned our attention onto next season's car and the researching. And, um, yeah, we're, we're pretty good for spare parts as well coming into this one. We've got sort of four of everything. So, every car has one piece and then a backup piece as well. Uh, so that's good. And uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're not looking too bad here. So let's go and have a look at uh, at the track. And as I said, um, it says it's a balanced circuit. I don't know that it is. There is, uh, we're going to have a dry weekend, it looks like. Look at these straights. I mean, this one here, and then that's a DRS zone. We've got another DRS zone here. That's a fairly long straight as well we'll see but anyway uh sections by speed and that kind of sums it up for us doesn't it not many corners and that is the strength of our car is corners so yeah that's tricky it is tricky uh we can see the acceleration we are good though uh so maybe maybe that gets us out of jail a little bit but yeah rank on the grid 17th and 18th It'll be a good test, won't it? Uh, we can see there the track. It says pit stop track uh, lost time is 22 seconds. I don't think that's right. It's it, there. You, you save so much time on a stop here because you sort of cut half the track out when you're going through. If, if I show you here, actually, the pit lane, if it'll let me go over, you basically come in here and come out there. So you miss the final chicane. You can sort of straight shoot that. And then you also miss basically turns one and two as well and come out on the outside of turn two. So you really don't lose that much time here. Uh, now the soft tie up. Let's have a look here. That is not that much quicker than the hard, um, but I think we've seen before. If you could do a soft, medium, soft, it's probably the way to go. Uh, last season it was Norris that won here, so uh, not a non-Max Verstappen win, which is always a bit of a rarity, isn't it? Uh, so 18th. I mean, see, I says here performance is eighth, which is quite good. <laughs> <laughs> which suggests maybe we should score points with the overall ranking of 20th on a track that shouldn't suit us. I don't know that this is completely accurate. But anyway, we'll go and find out, won't we? I'll go do some free practice and I will see you for qualifying. All right, so we've done free practice. It was okay. Uh, we had very, very old engine parts. So uh, we were okay in, uh, in FP1, 8th and 9th there, as you can see. Uh, and we can have a look all the way down. Uh, then FP2 was where things started to get a little bit uh, smoky, I think. Uh, it was 11th for Van Dorn and 18th for Doohan. Uh, and then FP3, it was 10th for Van Dorn and Doohan was all the way down in uh, 20th. But like I say, when you have a look at his engine part here, um, yeah, Doohan was definitely leaving a trail of smoke now i think because of the long straights we will introduce a new engine here which hopefully won't end up in the wall and destroyed um but yeah q1 should be fine when we you know with these new engine parts and whatnot should be okay so i'll just go and confirm that again you can see van dorn's quite old uh, in terms of engine parts and we're going to uh give him a new engine for this one as well and so we we're absolutely fine. There was a red flag uh, sort of after we did our first lap. So don't get too excited by this as ever. When the red flag comes out, the circuit loses all grip for whatever reason. Um, and uh, yeah, so that uh, that is, explains that. Uh, no major casualties. Gasly caused the red flag. And uh, yeah, maybe Ricardo, you'd expect a little bit more from him. But uh, the Aston Martins, they're really struggling this season, aren't they? All right, so we're on board with Doohan, who is currently 10th after the first lap as ever done on used tyres. Van Dorn is 8th, so he's not completely safe. He's got sort of three tenths over the Williams, though. Uh, but obviously, if Doohan goes quicker, Porsche is in between our two cars. And, and uh, Stoff has not gone quicker in the first sector, and Doohan has. Uh, yeah, Stoff's not completely safe here. But uh, hopefully... Is anybody going quicker here? There's 13 seconds to go in the session, so we're getting towards the end. Albon is going quicker, as is Zoe. We should have a pass covered. We've gone faster in the middle sector with Van Dorn. I mean, Dorn just backed off down a straight. He did have, you know, three quarters of the track. 
And luckily for him, Albin's not gone quicker. Jack, come on, dude. So we dodged a bullet there, didn't we? Ninth and tenth. So, uh, yeah, anyway, let's go and see what we can do in Q3. All right, so we've done our first run again on used tyres. We are currently 8th and ninth. Bottas didn't do a good lap. Now, we've managed to get ourselves out here behind, I think it's Norris in the McLaren. I'm hoping we we'll might get a little toe and then doing this sort of the same distance behind Van Dorn. So we'll see if it works out. I mean, this is not really the part of the track where you want it. It's sort of from here on that you'd be looking for a toe. We've not gone faster. Bottas has, so it's ninth and 10th right now. Which, to be honest, is probably where we are anyway. You know, to get into Q3 is possibly a good thing because, you know, we're not really suited to this track, as I said at the top. So we'll see. Doan did a faster middle sector. Uh, let's see if he can extend his gap. Could he maybe go and get Porsche? It's a big ask, and no. He did close the gap a little bit, a tenth down. Okay, so we've got some strategy options here. I think what we want to try and do is uh, is push the tyres at the start. Hopefully, we'll find a gap to drop back into. It's not too difficult to overtake here with a tyre offset, I wouldn't have thought. Um, and then, hopefully, we will be able to uh, get an undercut. See, the problem with doing doing that, again, it's, it's you want to get the undercut where you can. So I think we want to actually push on, come in early, and then, uh, yeah, and then sort of go like that. So I think that's what we'll do. That seems to make the most sense to me. We'll take some fuel out. There's usually a fairly good chance of a safety car. I don't want to risk taking more than three laps of petrol out, though, I don't think. And, uh, yeah, we'll push on at the start. And, geez, the guys are working hard in the background there, aren't they? Uh, <laughs> we'll see what we can do. Make sure you put everything on properly, please, guys. All right, and here we go. So I think, I mean, short of uh, of chaos and uh, and cars in front not finishing the race, I mean ninth and tenth I think would be a pretty good a pretty good deal for us. We've already got a yellow flag. Multiple cars have crashed. Um, Watch for potential very What's happened? Hopefully we're okay. I didn't see any damage. No, it's at the back, so it's insignificant to us. And uh, was that a hard tyre in front? Now, wait a second here. If Mercedes is going to go and kick an own goal and put hard tyres on, then maybe that does give us a chance to finish ahead of them. As there's a time penalty for Stroll. <laughs> uh, causing a major collision. Never change, Lance. Never change. Uh, but yeah, you never know. You know, if, if we might then Verstappen's on a hard... I mean, Verstappen on a hard is still, I imagine, going to be quicker than us for the most part. But these two Mercedes... Yeah, if a safety car doesn't come at a good time for them and save them here, or a red flag, um, we are a very good chance. We've already gone and got Bottas there with Van Dorn, and we might even go and do a double. No, not quite. Poor Cher blocking the inside line there. Uh, did Doan go and get Bottas? He did. Doan might even go and get... <laughs> okay, guys, guys, let's, let's be sensible here, please. Um... Yeah, this is this is potentially very, very good indeed. Can we go and get a double overtake? No, Porsche had the DRS as well. Now, is Doan going to go and get Verstappen? I didn't think we had this sort of pace in the car, but if we do, uh, needless to say, happy, happy days. Let's wait and see if he can get him. Is this an AVR overtaking Max Verstappen in a Red Bull? It might be. Can he go down the outside? Oh, Jack, that is spectacular, mate. Absolutely spectacular. All right. Well, we're going to win this now, won't we? So this is a tad unexpected, I've got to say. We are tacked on to the DRS train at the front, and <laughs> looking quite good. Um, yeah, now some of these cars may be one-stopping, so we might need to actually go and, you know, make up a pit stop on them. I genuinely thought we would be looking at, at sort of a ninth and 10th finish if we were lucky. I thought, you know, maybe a Williams or an Alpine that are sort of around us, an RB... Uh, might even might even be able to beat us, but we're sitting here. We're sort of pushing, but looking after the tides at the same time, staying off the high curbs. Uh, we're in the DRS train. Verstappen is behind uh, both our cars. He's actually behind Porsche now as well. So Verstappen is struggling. Bottas is as well down there in 13th. So here I was thinking, if we get out of this race ahead of Mercedes in the uh, in the constructors, it would be a massive success. Um, yeah, I mean. 
we could actually open the gap here the way things are going. But then again, Mercedes is almost certainly going to be a stop less than us. So we've got to got to remember that as uh, Van Dorn sticks a move on Dorn, which is which is fine. Just don't crash. So just another quick little update here. Uh, in the last lap, Verstappen and Piastri have both developed mechanical faults. Uh, we have also just about lost the DRS to this battle in front, which isn't ideal. We've got a yellow flag. Is that going to be anything of We've significance? Gasly has crashed. But it doesn't look like it's going to affect us in any major sort of way. So yeah, the, the DRS train at the front is just starting to spread out a little bit now. So, uh, yeah. Alright, well this is annoying. Uh, poor Cher has just got past Doan and uh, back to back there he's got past uh, Van Dorn as well. So he's on a hard tyre. It's, it's not ideal, but... If he's got some pace, then maybe he can pull us back up to the back of Piastri. His mechanical issue has worsened. So for that to be the case this early in the race, I think we can be cautiously optimistic, perhaps, that he is going to uh, he's going to suffer a failure at some point. And uh, hopefully we can go and get both cars back past Porsche, since he was at the front of the train and doesn't have DRS. That'd be very nice, Jack, if you could do that for me. Doesn't look like it's quite going to come off on this occasion. But anyway... As I said at the top, I thought 9th and 10th would be the absolute maximum here. We're still sitting 6th and 8th, and that's uh, that's that's good. Very good. All right, now we are approaching our pit windows. In fact, Duan is in his pit window, so we're really pushing the tyres now. Piastri, we've just caught him massively this last lap or two, uh, to the point where you know, we're in his DRS. Piastri's struggling. I, if he finishes the race, it's not going to be with any great pace. Oh, I thought for a second then we might be able to... Uh, get an overtake done there but he's going to be a sitting duck down this straight with no uh, DRS I would have thought Jack if you could just go and Piastri look after your fellow Australians mate come on dude uh, what we don't need is Porsche running off down the road here so hopefully that is not going to be a problem Piastri is going to have the DRS though now which is going to make life a little bit more difficult for us yeah he's just struggling isn't he uh, McLaren is not that slow uh, now, have we? I think we may have lost the DRS to Porsche, which is not ideal because we don't need Piastri coming back past us here. Oh, Verstappen's got Van Dorn as well. Now, this could be the hard tyre sort of just starting to come back a little bit. Um, no, so Dorn did get the DRS, which is which is good. Uh, yeah, so that that's, that could be the, the sort of some of the problem here is just that the hard tyres are, are coming back into their own against the wearing softs. Uh, Van Dorn, if you can go and get that done and not lose the DRS to Verstappen, I think we have lost the DRS to Verstappen. I think everybody is sort of pushing on a little bit now, knowing what's coming in terms of pit stops. Uh, we are going to stay within the DRS of Porsche here, though. And how many laps are we away? So next lap is uh, the ideal lap. Uh, is it the ideal lap for both cars? Uh, Piastri is pit. Now, that may even be to retire. All right, let's bring Doan in. He's done it. Or do we want to extend? Maybe we want to extend, so we go next lap. Uh, and then Van Dorn. Van Dorn might be the issue, because he might want to come in next lap as well. But he's got a little bit of a deficit all of a sudden. Maybe Van Dorn wants to come in this lap. He's, he's struggling for pace a little bit, isn't he? Now, am I going to do the trick of Monaco where we do an undercut of <laughs> Doan by mistake? Uh, you'll notice Doan's tyre life is uh, is getting better. Uh, we have been working on that in his driver development, and it's it's showing an improvement. I do post the driver development on uh, the Discord, and uh, yeah, if you notice, he's, he's improving quite a bit. So I have to try and remember to show you at some point. But uh, yeah, if you could kindly get out of the way, poor Shep. That'd be good. So Van Dorn is in. Dorn looks like he did get him up into fifth. And here we go. Off on go. 2.2 is a very nice stop indeed. Can we get out ahead of Piastri? We should be able to because... Oh, and we don't have tyres again. Oh, wait. Maybe we do. Maybe we do. The quicker they fix that bug, honestly. That's got to be one of the hot patch things, isn't it? You, you can't let that continue. But anyway, at least the tyres came back. It's not, it's not like Monaco. So, here we go now with Doan Stop. I think he's in this lap, isn't he? Yes, he is. And he should get out ahead of Van Dorn. That shouldn't be a problem. And there's a little gap uh, behind Bottas. So, we are indeed behind... Oh, wait. Where are we? Oh, we're in... oh, almost in ninth. 
So that's actually worked out quite well. Yes, oh yeah, there look at the gap. Sonoda, I didn't realise that Sonoda was so far back as Doohan has lost his front tyres. Oh, that's going to ruin this race for me. It looks so stupid. All right, I'll try and get over that. We've got to just, let's just pretend there's wheels there and it doesn't look like it's ridiculous. Uh, we've got to get these overtakes done here quickly though because we cannot afford to be stuck behind these cars when we're actually racing, believe it or not, Verstappen, <laughs> but uh, probably more realistically, Porsche. So we've, we've got to get these overtakes done. We've done that. Uh, we don't need Russell coming back past us, but I don't think he'll have the pace. And we've got DRS anyway, so yeah, absolutely no problem. Now, where is Stoffel? He is still closing in on the back of this group. So yeah, I mean, Doohan did really well to clear them quickly. And let's see if he can now close down that gap to Porsche. It's already within a pit stop. So, let's go now. Come on, Stoff. Let's just get this overtaking done. Get through. Uh, this might be a good time for Doohan to conserve fuel while we're... Uh, Save, you know, catching them anyway, just on the, with the tire deficit. But Stoffel out of battery now. He, it's one of these, isn't it? He, there's just, it's just no excuses. You've got to get the overtakes done. Hamilton's stopped from the lead, um, but he was a fair way ahead of us and stays eight seconds ahead of Doohan. Uh, again, not really our race that one. But can Stoff go and get some overtakes done? That's nice. And with a bit of DRS, could we go and get both these cars? There's one. Go on, stop. Oh, I love your work, Van Dorn. Magnificent. Magnificent. All right. Go and, uh, go and chase down Porsche now, mate. So this is potentially very big news. Uh, Verstappen, he has smoke, blue smoke. Smoke's usually not a good idea in a Formula 1 car, is it? So... Uh, we are closing down Porsche quite quickly, a second or so a lap, uh, two seconds last lap, uh, which is obviously good. If Verstappen is going to go the way of Piastri and just slow right up, uh, that is very good. We could be looking at fifth. Fifth and sixth on a day when I genuinely thought we might struggle to get two cars in the points. Okay, so here we go. Without wheels, we we're about to overtake Max Verstappen for track position, having caught him after making a stop. And Doohan is now 6, only 4 seconds, and catching Porsche for 5th. Alright, so things are just about to happen now. Porsche has come into the pits. Uh, we uh, So has Verstappen. Piastri is about to retire, I suspect, with his mechanical issue. Um, so we've, uh, we've been saving fuel. We've probably done enough now anyway. Whilst uh, we were catching everybody, now Porsche has come out onto a medium, I am assuming. Yes, he has. Uh, Alonso and Leclerc on a hard. They are going to the end. Piastri has indeed retired. And Verstappen, as you can see, is coming to the pits, but he is he's a long way back and he is slow. So we're, we're in a race with the Mercedes for 5th and 6th today. Um, this is probably our hurt time, in truth. But if we can... Maybe if we push on, even if we come in a little bit earlier so that we have to make the mediums go a little bit longer. But if we can limit the, the damage that they do to us on their new tyres, Bottas has stopped, hasn't he? No, Bottas is still not stopped. So Bot we're just not in a race with Bottas. We're in a race with, uh, we're in a race with Porsche right now. So, bring it on. Bring it on. Oh, we've got a virtual safety car, which is probably the time... To bring cars in because we're going to save time on a pit stop we're going to have the same sort of tires as um thingo anyway so we'll make the stop with van dorn we might actually leave doing out because doing i think has a big enough gap over porsche to stop um and he's, he's already passed the pit lane anyway so he couldn't have come in uh but i just think maybe Hopefully these tyres stay on the car as well. I just wonder if maybe uh, that is worth getting the extra tyre life. Please come back. Please come back, tyres. Don't do this to me. Uh. Okay, so virtual safety car is ending. Van Dorn has come out just ahead of the Mercedes. And I mean just ahead of the Mercedes. He's got quite the train behind him. Um, 
so I think that has worked out okay because uh, we would have come out behind them, albeit with a tire offset, which we don't necessarily now have. So, yeah, we'll see. Bottas has stopped. That was so stupid, Delta. What, what are Mercedes doing? But yeah, you can see the gap between Doohan and uh, and, and and Co. and uh, and Van Dorn and, and friends here is uh, it's enough to suggest that uh, he should be able to make a pit stop anyway. And even if he does come out behind, he's going to have that much better tyres uh, when he does. So I, I'm fairly confident that we're doing the right thing here. We'll keep half an eye on the lap tyres. We don't want him to be losing out chunks of time. Um, but yeah, I think he's going to be okay. Sonoda, Albin, Ocon, they've shown nothing to suggest that they'd be able to, to outpace us anyway. Um, and on a soft tyre, they've done 14s. Well, that's a bit misleading because Dewan may not have been on the same... Part of the, you know, he may have been already onto a little bit of a different part of the track. Uh, we just keep an eye on the gap. 18, se 18 seconds is getting a little close. Let's maybe deploy him and we can push on a little bit. Um, so a 13 for the leader. Doohan comes across and is a 17. Um, yeah, I mean, that's not great. It's not great. We probably at this point come out behind them anyway, or do we come out of roughly with them? Um, there's a part of me that thinks we're sort of committed to it now. That gap is staying the same. If anything, it's going out a little bit, isn't it? So let's finish this lap. That should be a quicker lap for us. A 15, yeah. And then we'll come in... We'll come in this lap. Because we won't have enough uh, battery to sort of do the whole the whole lap anyway. Alright, well... Hopefully I haven't messed that up. We're going to have that little bit of a tyre advantage. Um, anyway. So it should. It should work out okay. And worst case scenario is already five seconds back. So worst case scenario, he comes out behind Van Dorn in seventh, really. All right, Jack, let's see what you've got here for us, mate. Let's harvest coming in. And 18.6 should be around about what we need. Hopefully Hulkenberg doesn't hold us up at any point. Off on go. Oh, we've got another bad stop. It's a really bad stop. And Doohan, is he going to come out? It's going to be lap traffic, so those Salvers should jump out of the way pretty quickly. But that is, uh, that is not ideal. So, on the list of things that weren't supposed to happen, Ocon getting past us it can be added to that. So, the bad pit stop. And suddenly, it's looking a little bit more like we're in a battle for, uh, for 7th with Ocon than we are for 6th with Pocher. So, yeah, Doohan's race has just all gone pear-shaped because the pit crew. I don't think, I gen genuinely don't think, with you know, with that stop, we may have come out behind Van Dorn and Porsche if we had done it under, uh, you know, for not doing it under the virtual safety car, but we've got that tyre advantage, so I don't think it's, um, it was, you know, it's a terrible decision that we've made, or that I've made there. You guys didn't make the decision, I did. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's um, obviously... You don't budget for a poor pit stop, do you? So we should have DRS on him here and get this done pretty quickly. But yeah, that gap is is getting uh, sizable. We're not able to. Oh, jeez. Well, yeah, we're just we, doing. Just doesn't seem to have the pace. He's losing a second a lap right now to uh, Porsche and uh, Van Dorn, which is not ideal. Oh, never mind. Ocon's just come in the pits. So that uh, that solves that problem. Doohan can now hopefully get head down and uh, try and close the gap to, uh, yeah, to push it. Okay, so what, uh, what I've done is I was couldn't figure out why Doohan wasn't closing the gap. What I've kind of figured out is that Van Dorn is, is, is towing Porsche down the straights with DRS. So I've sort of slowed up Van Dorn. So that Porsche is slowing up because he doesn't have the pace 
to, to go with us, I don't think anyway. And Duan is now closing in the gap, sort of half a second to a second a lap, depending on the lap. So, um, took me a little while to catch on. <laughs> we, we got there eventually. And I'm actually tempted to tell Van Dorn to go even slower here, but I don't want to, I don't I want the temperature in the tires as well. I don't want Van Dorn to uh, to crash. He's got a full battery, so uh, we will be able to pull away when we want, I would think. Um, so there's an argument to say, do we go and do that? We won't do it this lap. What we might do is when there's a lap that uh, Porsche is in front, so we have double DRS down these two straights. We might, we might deploy push go break the drs and then push share should be hopefully a little bit of a sitting duck so that's this lap uh so we'll use everything we've got not quite everything actually we'll save some of the tires uh and then hopefully we'll get move done there accelerate away there pull the gap let's go and jump on board actually oh, pull the gap and hopefully anyway stop pulling him around is that a second yet that's looking close to a second so we have broken the drs just make sure that we uh maintain that down this straight but yeah that's looking it's looking over a second now isn't it and that should help doing uh closing the gap even further now yeah two and a half seconds uh, we've pulled on Porsche there, so I was right. He, he doesn't have the pace to go with us. And that should now give uh, Doan the best chance to, um, with 10 laps to go, go and get himself 6th place. Alright, so Doan has now caught the DRS of Porsche. What we're going to do while we're behind him here is we're going to harvest up um, just so we've got a full battery. So again, when we uh, want to make the overtake, we can do what he did with uh, with, with Stoffel, just blast away from him and uh, and risk any chance of him sort of being towed around and maybe getting a sneaky move into the final corner on the last lap. Uh, we might even overtake him here with, uh, with Harvest on. All right, so well, let's deploy now then and see if we can, uh, we can go and break Porsche's uh, fighting resistance here. We've already got a second on him. We've got a salver up here, which hopefully is going to give us DRS down the, the double uh, DRS zone because we were behind him at the detection point there. And uh, yeah, Porsche is already two seconds back and we do have DRS. So that should be that. All things being equal now, fifth and sixth at Canada. What a result this could be. All right, so with two laps to go, Doan has actually caught Van Dorn here, which maybe isn't a surprise because he's got the better tyres. Um, Van Dorn can prob we can probably each bump them up. I don't want <laughs> the problem here. No, we're going to leave it. We could each bump them up a level of attack, but I, obviously what I don't want is, is a crash. Um, I think Doan probably does... I mean, he deserves the position because he went further. You know, he, he also had a dodgy pit stop that Van Dorn didn't have. Um, so... I think all things being equal, I think Doan deserves, he deserves to finish ahead of, uh, of Van Dorn. He deserves to be the, the first uh, ABR today. But this has been magnificent. Now, yes, we've been massively helped by a Piastri retirement and a uh, Verstappen mechanical issue that has got him in 12th. So it shows roughly, roughly how slow he has been as well. But that's huge. Uh, we're going to beat both Mercedes as well. It's a 36, 37 second probably by the time we get to the finish line gap between the, the you know between us and uh, the top four so we're still a mile back now he's doing going to we don't tell him to defend oh no and Stoffel it's gonna mug him off on the line so there we go it's fifth for Van Dorn it's sixth for Dorn it's a magnificent result and I think that's a career best for Van Dorn because Dorn got a fifth earlier on in the season was at Miami um, and uh, yeah so now Van Dorn's got one as well up five Dorn up three and that is uh, just excellent it's just a really really excellent result for us so that means van dorn closes up to bottas in seventh as does uh doing uh, he is still ninth uh if i just get myself out of the way here so you can see what i'm talking about that's helpful isn't it and then the constructors well we've pulled out massively another eight points on mercedes and we are looking like we could be the fourth best team now i do wonder if basically everybody other than the top three have already moved on to next season like we have uh which may well be the case first points there for williams as well um but it doesn't really matter at this point. There is no way 
even even if Red Bull continue to develop the car, I don't see anybody being able to catch us for fifth now. So that's that's huge. And the pit stops, we had two decent ones, uh, sort of mid middle of the range there, fourth and fifth. So that means we go back ahead of Alpine now and uh, still within touching distance of McLaren for second as well. And Doohan, now an 80 rated driver. So excellent work, Jack. He is developing very, very nicely to the point where now we can probably consider him the lead driver in the team. There's not much between them, obviously. Uh, but if we go and have a look, I was going to show you this, wasn't I? His development. Um, yeah, look at this. His uh, smoothness is now 83. Uh, I think we're we working on overtaking. Yeah, so right now we're working on his basically his overtaking, which is the one of the weak points of his uh, of his uh, driving. So if we can get that up to 80 as well, we've got a very very solid Formula One driver on our hands. And then, well, what then becomes an issue of what do we do with Stoffel? I'll be honest. I like Stoffel when he was in Formula One. I'm really enjoying having him in the car. But if we are going to try and challenge, do we need maybe to, to look at to, for an improvement there we should probably try and improve his smoothness as well so let's stick him onto race strategy there's not much development left in him he's 33 but we might get something but anyway guys that is that if you've enjoyed that thumbs up subscribe if you're new no f3 in canada but we'll be back for spain next that should suit the car even better so who knows where we could go and uh, i think there's f3 there as well so our three juniors will be in action until then guys i've been on thank you so much for watching take care